Well, our long winter and wet spring means more mosquitoes and bugs that bite. Todd Lisi from Adams Pest Control is here to tell us what you can do to keep those bugs away. All right, well, let's start with bug number one that we know very well, the mosquitoes. What can you do? Yeah, or state bird, as people mm -hmm. like to call it. Um, you know, when you're outdoors, just wear long sleeve shirts if you can, long pants, lighter colors really help. Uh, there are some repellents that are pretty good. Everyone knows about DEET, but there's a couple other repellents that work pretty well against and mosquitoes. And what would as well. those be? What would those other repellents? Yeah, what would be like the safest, best, kid friendly uh, repellents you could use for mosquitoes? Um, well, I shouldn't really say name brands, but but I, I've heard of some, you know, Avon makes one that I've I've seen has been highly regarded in uh, consumer reports. Mm -hmm. So there, there are some that are non-insecticide, you know, qualities as well too. But and DEET's completely safe. I mean, we got back to this period where they said DEET's not safe. Now it's safe again. But the overall verdict on that? Yeah, I wouldn't really worry about DEET. I mean, you're not using large quantities of it, and you're probably not using it that often anyway. But um, it's. It, you know, I don't think there's too many issues with DEET. Okay, and now you brought some other uh, little critters with us, and I see they've multiplied here. We have uh, ticks and bed bugs. Let's start with the ticks. Where do you find those, and how do you get rid of them? Well, ticks can be found out in your yard, particularly in tall grasses. A lot of times they're going to be hanging on to a, a, a blade of grass with, with you know, three, four arms on one side hanging on, waiting for you to walk by and grab onto you with the other set of arms. Um, and so they're they're going to be in shaded areas, whereas the bed bugs are more of hitchhikers. Uh, you might find them when you travel or have someone come back from a summer camp or have a visitor come over. Let me let me hold this up uh, for the for people to see because there's something very interesting on here. Okay, so here's the bed bugs, right? Yep. And you see them all sitting over here. They don't hop; they just walk, right? Right. They are live, though, so watch yourself. <laughs> All right. I'm, do not want them on my clothes. But there's these little black speckles here that you can see on this business card here. Not the uh, obvious uh, numbers and things, but these little specks. Tell us what that is. That's actually a little fecal staining. It <laughs> almost looks like a little bit of a drop of ink. And uh, there are some nymphs too. So right at the top edge here are some smaller nymphs and when they hatch out they basically hatch out as many versions of the adults and then they molt about five times before they become adults and if you have bed bugs how how many days is it going to take before you have a real problem you know you could be getting bit right away on day one or day two of, of bringing them home but a lot of people won't notice until they've had them for 30 days or 60 days and they start to multiply and, and get to be this many and then all of a sudden they start to notice we get a few more welts on them or whatnot. Okay, so if you see bed bugs, call time right away. All right, the next season around the corner I know we'll be talking to you about is yellow jackets down the road. My favorite topic, but Joy, now we're going to toss it back to you.